Mesenchymal stem cell transplantation is a cutting-edge therapeutic approach that utilizes the regenerative power of these cells to repair damaged tissues. Mesenchymal stem cells, or MSCs, are derived from various tissues and are known for their ability to differentiate into multiple cell types and modulate immune responses. Let's explore the sources of these cells and their potential for therapeutic use. Mesenchymal stromal cells can be obtained from the patient themselves. These cells are called autologous. Autologous MSCs are harvested from the patient's own tissues, usually from bone marrow or adipose tissue. MSCs can also be obtained from a donor. In this case, they're called allogenic. Donor MSCs are typically sourced from tissues like umbilical cord or placenta. Both sources have their advantages. Autologous MSCs are often preferred to avoid immune rejection and to sidestep ethical concerns related to donor cells. However, donor cells are generally younger and may have greater regenerative potential. In some cases, a treatment program might include both donor and autologous cells to maximize therapeutic benefits. The process of preparing stem cells for therapy can be roughly compared to the process of preparing food in the kitchen. The process of obtaining MSCs depends on their source and involves a combination of mechanical and biochemical methods to break down the tissue and isolate the cells. Firstly, tissue is obtained through procedures like liposuction, bone marrow puncture or a small surgical biopsy. For donor cells, a simple cut from the placenta or umbilical cord is sufficient. Then the tissue is processed to separate MSCs from other cells, usually through enzymatic digestion. Collagenase is the most commonly used enzyme as it breaks down the extracellular matrix, releasing the cells. The enzyme-treated tissue is then filtered to remove undigested material and other debris. This step helps isolate the cell-containing fraction from the rest. The filtered solution is centrifuged to separate the cells from the remaining liquid. The resulting pellet contains a mixture of cells, including MSCs. Finally, the cell mixture undergoes further processing to isolate MSCs. This often involves plating the cells under specific culture conditions, allowing MSCs to adhere to the culture dish, while other cell types do not. The next step is expansion and quality control of MSCs. Once isolated, MSCs can be expanded and purified through cell culture techniques. The culture dishes are incubated at 37 degrees Celsius in a humidified atmosphere with 5% CO2, which is ideal for MSC growth. The culture medium is typically refreshed every two to three days to provide fresh nutrients and remove waste products. As MSCs proliferate, they form colonies and a monolayer of cells on the culture surface. This process can increase their numbers tens or even hundreds of times. Next comes the quality control phase. Throughout the culturing process, regular monitoring ensures the cell's morphology, growth rates and sterility. Cultures are tested to ensure they're free from bacterial, fungal and viral contamination which is crucial for cell health and research reliability. Phenotypic analysis of cells is also being performed. Flow cytometry checks for specific surface markers like CD73, CD90 and CD105, while confirming the absence of unwanted markers such as CD34 or CD45. For long-term use, MSC can be cryopreserved. They're suspended in a freezing medium and gradually cooled before being stored in liquid nitrogen. When needed, these cryopreserved MSCs are quickly thawed and placed into fresh culture medium to recover and continue growing. Donor cells are often kept ready for use at any time when a suitable patient needs them. Mesenchymal stem cell transplantation represents a promising future in regenerative medicine, offering new avenues for healing and restoring health. To learn more about the groundbreaking benefits of stem cell transplantation and how it can transform your health, be sure to check out the next videos in the Swiss Medica YouTube channel.